Well, this week, we're helping you get the facts on the five Massachusetts ballot questions. Question three is focused on rideshare drivers. Our political reporter, Sharman Sacchetti, is back with the potential change that might have a pretty big impact on these workers and the industry. Sharman. Ben and Jessica, under federal law, those drivers are classified as independent contractors, not employees. So if this question passes, that could change and make Massachusetts the first state in the country to let rideshare drivers unionize. Rideshare driver Batanya Ganell took the job behind the wheel to make money and her own hours. I'm a single mother of two kids and I used to work 40 hours a week, uh, Monday to Friday, and I have the time and the flexibility to spend time with my kid. After 10 years, she says she's working double the hours for less money. She supports question three. They start taking 20% of the fare. Now they take between 60, 70, sometimes even 80% of the fare. Now I have to work 70 and sometimes 80 hours a week, seven days a week. A yes vote would allow rideshare drivers to form unions. A no vote would make no change in the law. The machinist union is pushing to represent drivers to fight for better pay, hours, and being taken off the app without explanation. There's no due process. Uh, you make one complaint to, against an Uber or Lyft driver and the company just shuts them off without even letting them know. Some concerns addressed earlier this year when the attorney general settled a lawsuit with rideshare companies. That included a minimum $32.50 an hour, paid sick leave and a pooled health insurance benefit. Uber says most of its drivers support the deal, adding, while we do have concerns with some of the language in the ballot and plan to pursue changes via the legislature next session, Uber will not be running a campaign opposing question three. We have no doubt that if drivers choose to organize, they will hold the benefits they've already won central to any negotiations and maintaining their flexibility will remain a top priority. Lyft says while we have no plans to oppose the ballot measure, we do have some concerns about specific aspects of its language and will work collaboratively to address them in the next legislative session should the measure pass. Some opponents argue if it passes, prices would go up. But Gunnell says a union is needed. I love my job. The only thing that we need is something fair. So if this passes, drivers could then vote on whether or not to form a union. They'd have to collect signatures from 25% of active drivers who finished more than a certain number of rides over the past six months. Sharman Sacchetti, WCVB News Center 5.